morning, everyone. As uh, President Biden and Prime Minister Trudeau announced earlier today, uh, the United States and Canada have reached agreement in principle to modernize the Columbia River Treaty. Uh, this agreement is a hallmark of the cooperation that Canada and the United States uh, have and have shown over so many years, and cooperation that benefits the people in both of our countries. Uh, for the United States, the Columbia River is um, an extraordinarily powerful source uh, for commerce, uh, for energy, uh, for the lives of, uh, of so many of our fellow citizens. Forty percent of our hydropower, irrigating about eight billion dollars in agricultural products, transporting more than twenty billion dollars uh, in goods. Uh, and this modernization uh, agreement in principle will allow gra greater access to uh, energy for uh, American consumers. Uh, it will um, allow greater access to renewables, which is very important, of course, for our climate. And it will lower prices uh, for consumers. Um, most important, it's, uh, it's really a win-win agreement, uh, one that benefits Canadians, uh, one that benefits Americans, uh, and one that, um, again, demonstrates what has long been the case, that uh, our two countries work so closely together for the benefit of our people. I just want to thank very quickly, um, in particular, uh, Senator Jim Risch, Senator Maria Cantwell, who have been instrumental in moving, uh, moving this forward. And I especially want to thank my friend and colleague, um, Farm Minister, because um, Melanie Jolie has uh, played an instrumental role in getting this agreement across the finish line. Now, as I say, you never want to negotiate with Melanie because it's easier <laughs> to just say yes at the start because that's where you're going to wind up. <laughs> but um, she has been a strong advocate for um, uh, Canada's interests, and uh, I think the agreement that we've reached in principle reflects the interests of both countries in ways that will clearly benefit people in Canada and in the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you finally at the announcement. I know we've been negotiating for a long time. You're a tough negotiator <laughs> too, you know. Um, so this is an important uh, agreement and principle that indeed we have reached on the renewal, re renewal of the uh, Columbia River Treaty. We know that water is the most important resource uh, that we have in the world and it is important that Canada and the U.S. be able to manage it well for now but also for the future mm. uh, generations. This uh, agreement is also important for three uh, reasons. The first one, it is about the question of water management, particularly flood control. So that's the first aspect of it. Second, it is also about hydroelectricity, and we know how much clean energy is important. And thirdly, and I know that many Canadians and also many Americans have been looking forward to this, it is about bringing back salmon to mm -hmm. the Columbia River. So that's also an important aspect of uh, this new agreement. I would like to thank also uh, on our side, on the Canadian side, the British Columbia uh, government, particularly Minister Conroy. Thank you so much, Corinne. And also all the indigenous nations of the Columbia River Basin who have been involved in this. So finally, we got it to the finish line. And uh, it's always a pleasure to work with you, dear Tony. You. If I may, just a second, I'll just speak in French. Uh, uh, entendu. Oui, merci, merci. Donc, euh, euh, c'est un plaisir d'annoncer euh, un accord de principe sur euh, le traité de la rivière Columbia. Euh, c'est un traité important qui touche particulièrement une rivière en Colombie-Britannique. Elle vise trois choses, euh, ce, 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 cette entente-là. Elle vise premièrement tout ce qui est lié à, à, à la gestion euh, de l'eau, particulièrement tout ce qui est euh, lié à, à, à les, les, la, la gestion potentielle d'inondation. Euh, deuxième chose, euh, l'hydroélectricité. Euh, qui est présente dans la région et qui est liée, à, bien entendu, à la rivière Columbia. Et finalement, troisièmement, le retour du, euh, salmon, du, du saumon pardon, euh, dans euh, cette rivière qui est si importante en Colombie-Britannique. J'aimerais remercier le gouvernement de la Colombie-Britannique et euh, également euh, les différentes nations autochtones qui sont euh, dans le bassin de la rivière Columbia. Alors, merci, Tony. Toujours un plaisir de travailler avec toi. Merci. Et moi, je suis prête à signer plein autres, plusieurs autres ententes en matière de gestion euh, des eaux et aussi plusieurs autres enjeux qui touchent le Canada et les États-Unis. Merci. So, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Secretary, can you attend the press conference today? Yes, look forward to it.